Buenos dias fellow gamers, my name is it. how are you guys doing? Today I do have another banger video for you. And this time, it is about my favorite flamethrower, the Ignis Rave. You want the flamethrower that can do this too? Don't you go anywhere, I got you covered. Before we get into the build, what is a flamethrower actually about? If you think about it in theory, okay, you have a weapon, you spray like a huge beam at enemies, okay? And well, the intention, since it's a flamethrower, is to basically deal damage over time. And that's exactly what we're gonna do with this build. Um, I would say the main MVP mod for this is Hunter Munitions. Because first of all, we do have high voltage and well, we have um, Toxin in this ribbon. We don't need the Toxin uh, status mod since we have this ribbon. And, well, since we do have Corrosive, we can Armor Strip, okay? Then we can apply Slash, and you're also going to see another feature that combines well with Slash in just a few seconds. Heavy Caliber, of course, to boost the damage. Vital Sense for crit damage. Critical Delay for critical chance. I know this has a negative fire rate, but it's okay. There's an Arcane where you can actually like compensate that. You can go for Arcane Acceleration and boom, you already have that fire rate back up. So it's it's not a biggie at all. Galvanized Chamber because it's obviously the most important multi-shot mod in the entire game, at least for primaries. And of course the very beautiful ribbon. As I mentioned, we don't need a Toxin status mod because we can just put Toxin in there. We have multi-shot, we have critical damage, and in my opinion, one of the best uh, negative stats, which is weapon recall. I mean, it's a beam weapon, so it doesn't do anything, trust me. And serration, you can swap this out if you want to go steel path. I always run this. However, you can just go for a primed affection mod, like primed grenier, you know, something like that, um, to deal more damage to those individual faction types. But this always works well, yeah. As we all know, Corrosive is very, very strong. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We equip Tau Forge Emerald Archon Shots. You don't need them to be Tau Forge, by the way, but, well, you know what we have? We have. Okay, so um, two of those green ones, okay? So we can always armor strip. Then we have the two red ones for increased primary status chance, since Ignis Rave already has a good crit chance. Um, and we do have the Tau Forged Violet Archon Shot, which basically gives any primary weapon electricity. So if you think about it, you could swap out an electricity status mod, and you could literally put this in, so you have space for another mod. However, I still kept the electricity status mod just to have more corrosive. Another source of improving your damage significantly is equipping Nourish. Why? Nourish gives you Viral. And, well, if you have Viral and Slash, that's always a deadly combo, and you can strip armor anyway with those green shots. So you have Corrosive, you have Viral, you have Slash with Hunter Munitions, and um, yeah, you're gonna be killing a lot of Steel Pap enemies. Trust. Enough talking, let me show you some gameplay that I recorded with Metal, and I hope you enjoy. That's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you awesome people in the next one.